Hi, I'm Steve Fulgoni in my wood turning shop and in this video I wanted to show you some of the some of the features and some of the jaw sets available for the Hurricane HTC 100. HTC 100 is a four jaw wood turning scroll chuck. Scroll chuck meaning using a key. All four jaws move independently. So you can open and close the jaw sets to clamp down on a tenon, go inside an expansion recess, and with the currently nine sets of optional jaws, there's almost nothing that you can do in your wood turning endeavors that the HTC 100 can't do for you. First of all, um, sometimes it's hard to tell in the static photos, but the uh, HTC 100 is quite a substantial chuck. It's nothing like the, the, uh, the micro chucks that are out there, the mini chucks. Uh, for example, this here is a one-way stronghold chuck and the HTC 100. One of the big differences, both, both have threaded insert adapters. One of the big differences between the two is the one-way is completely open, allowing the gears and entire mechanism to be exposed to sawdust. And on the Hurricane, dual internal drive, Completely sealed, greased inside, dust free, never have to worry about it, never have to clean it. One of the things I do is I'm here at my shop turning uh, all the time, but then also I teach at clubs uh, where we have both mini lathes uh, and full size lathes. And if you want to buy one chuck and don't need to buy a different chuck for every lathe that you go to, you can simply buy additional inserts. So here, my HTC 100 at the moment is set up with a one and a half inch by eight insert for my Powermatic 90 lathe. And with simply removing these screws and inserting this adapter, this will get me to a one inch by eight insert, suitable for mini lathes and some of the older full size lathes. So we'll put that on here. The HTC 100 with the jaws in the closed position. These are the standard dovetail jaws. Has an opening of about an inch and three quarters internally. quarters and they go up to just about just under three inches so an inch and a quarter of jaw travel One thing that you may not have noticed is that the jaws are numbered. One, two, three, four. And it is important that you remove them, or I should say install them in that sequence for accuracy. This one without losing the screw. There we go. There's jaw number two. You can see on the back there's an alignment groove. The alignment groove here, female alignment groove, goes on to the raised groove here. If I come around to number four, You'll see that behind jaw number four, there's a pin. There's a pin here. And the pin lines up with here. And this prevents the jaws from opening and expanding and flying out. And one of the really nice things, I mean, people, some people like that, some people don't like that. On the Axminster chuck, that's not available. On the Vicmar chuck, it is available, but it's a pin, a roll pin, which is tapped in. 
Here it's a little hard to see, but it's actually a threaded set screw. So if you choose not to use it, you take the set screw out, put it aside, you come back another time if you want to engage that feature, put the set screw back in. It's not a one-time operation like you have with some other chucks. Okay, so let's put back, let's put that back, number four. I recommend doing this by hand, not using a power screwdriver, even with the clutch engaged, just to keep the screw heads and screw threads intact. So there you have it. Okay? Let's go through some of the other jaws that are available. As I said, this here is the standard two inch dovetail jaws. Some additional ones, let's go through them, pin jaws. Pin jaws, serrated jaws, serrated step jaws, large serrated jaws, serrated on both the inside and the outside. Serrated spigot jaws, large dovetail jaws, extended dovetail jaws. These are used to get inside a uh, recess and it also takes your piece farther away from the lathe which gives you more room to work behind. And then of course the last ones are jumbo or coal jaws and we'll put those on right now.